Hi there, welcome again to Spiking, the MATLAB-based graphical user interface for monitoring spike train synchrony. In this movie, we show you how to sort the spike trains according to their clustering. The idea is that similar spike trains should appear together. For this, we select our standard example, the clustering dataset. Here, some parameters describing features of the data are already predefined. For example, it is known that the dataset can be divided into four spike train groups with 10 spike trains each, maybe because they were recorded in different regions of the brain. Also, the dataset consists of eight intervals of 500 milliseconds each, which exhibit varying cluster behavior. So now we can calculate the spike distance. In this standard example, we have already selected a few frames that can subsequently be viewed in a movie. The first frame, shown here, contains the instantaneous dissimilarity for the middle of the first interval at 250 milliseconds. Here, the first two spike train groups fire together, and so do the last two groups. So the order of the spike trains follows already the clustering, which can also be derived from the clear block structure of the dissimilarity matrix. But if we go a few frames ahead, we reach the fourth interval in which each cluster now contains spike trains from all of our spike train groups. Correspondingly, the block structure in the dissimilarity matrix has disappeared. But if we want to see it again and thereby also see which spike trains in the raster plot fire together, we can do so via the spike train selection which includes spike train sorting as, as a sub function. So we said select trains and then press the select trains button. In the spike train selection and sorting window, which appears, we go to cluster order and press one of the two buttons depending on the orientation that we want to see. Here we go for decreasing. We confirm the new order with OK and then back in Spikey, press plot again in order to see the result. This way, not only do we get to see the desired block matrix, but also the spike trains are now plotted in the corresponding order. Similarly, this can be done for each frame and for each measure. In particular, in case we want to calculate several measures in parallel, we can select the one that we want to use as a soaring criterion. And that's it for now. Cheers!